Hi guys, so in this video, we'll look at uh, how to convert Roman string to integer number. So we all know what Roman number is and we pretty much know the basic Roman strings to their integer values, but now we need to write a program to convert that. So, uh, so these are the pretty uh, straightforward Roman literals and their respective integer values, IV, XL, CDM with their respective integer values. And uh, just one assumption is there that the input would always be a valid Roman string. So like, uh, for example, like I, 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 which is not four, a uh, correct way to write four in Roman is I, V. So that's four. So one less thing to care about, uh, the string would always be a valid Roman number. So uh, let's look at some of the examples. Uh, so I, V, four, we just did that. And then V, I, six, L, X, 50, 10, 50 plus 10, 60, XL, 50 minus 10, 40, and likewise. So uh, I do have a few examples on the whiteboard. So we'll just go to whiteboard. Uh, we'll figure out the algorithm and then we'll come back and we'll do the code. Okay, so in order to come up with the algorithm to solve this problem, Roman to integer, we'll look at these few strings and uh, we'll see how we can come up with the algorithm. So as you can notice, uh, VI, which is five, and one uh, comes up to six l x so l is 50 and x is 10 so l x is 60 then a little bit more complicated uh number so m m c v i so m is thousand so thousand plus thousand two thousand c is hundred so two thousand one hundred and then v i which is six so two one zero six so that's our number now some of the other or different pattern is IV. So we know this is five minus one, four. Now XL, so L is 50, X is 10. So 50 minus 10, 40. And then MCM IV. You'll notice that we're using the same letters, but in different order. So M is thousand, CM. So C is hundred and this is thousand. So this becomes 900, thousand minus hundred. So 1,900 and this is four. So 1904. So now we know these different strings and their values. Now uh, let's see what is the pattern or how can we actually uh, come up with the algorithm. So I'll just take these two because these are better examples and we'll see how we can solve it. So as you notice, as we move from right to left, uh, the numbers are in increasing order. So if we take this, this is one. If we take this number, so one plus five will be six. If we take this number, this is C, 100. So we'll have 106. If we take this number, which is thousand, so it'll be 1106. And the final thousand again, which will make it 2106. So that's our number. So if we start looking at the string in reverse order, and if the numbers are in increasing order, we'll just keep adding them and vice versa. We'll apply same logic over here. We'll start looking in the reverse order. So this is five. But as soon as we see that the next number in the reverse order, if it's less than the previous number, instead of adding, we'll subtract. So five minus one is four. Now we see that's obviously more than one. So thousand is more than one. So we'll say 1004. Now hundred, hundred is less than thousand. So we'll subtract and that will become 904. Now thousand, which is more than hundred. So we'll add it and that gives us 1904. That's the number that we're looking for. So, uh, so this is the simple algorithm, like start looking the string in the reverse order and keep adding the numbers. If the numbers are increasing, as soon as the number starts decreasing, subtract. So simple math, addition and subtraction, and we get our integer. So let's act, uh, let's see the actual code and uh, see if uh, how it runs and all. Okay, so this is our uh, final c -sharp code. Uh, we also have like Java code over here. So I'll uh, put link to both the versions in description. So you guys have access to both of them. So uh, this is our Roman to integer method. Uh, we are prepping the dictionary. 
uh, for a Roman literal to integer value. And then what we do is we pick the last uh, character so integer value into the result and then we start traversing the string and as we discuss if the incoming next number is uh, bigger than the previous number then we add otherwise we subtract and we return result so that's it so uh, let's run it just make sure that uh, everything is good and uh, i already have few inputs uh, supplied over here so all we discuss on the whiteboard so uh, as expected it runs fine so uh, there you go so uh, that's roman to integer code uh, if you guys like the video if you guys learn something new give me thumbs up on the video uh, let me know your feedback suggestion in the comments and then subscribe for more video thank you guys